Good morning. Welcome back to the Grand Solar Minimum channel. Today is Friday, October 4th, 2019. Let's take a look at our space weather right now. Solar winds are coming in at 396.2 kilometers per second with a density of 8.1. Our sun is blank again. Now, some of you see the sunspot that we were speaking of yesterday is still apparent. There are other, let's just say, um, Qual qualifications for a sunspot to be accounted as a sunspot. This one has the qualities that do not count as a sunspot. In fact, some folks were even concerned that it was even named a sunspot in the first place, even though we do see an active region here. Um, but right behind it, we have another region that seems to be spurred up since yesterday. So uh, right now we are currently at z zero sunspots for the day. Uh, this is the first day without sunspots, uh, technically. We will continue to monitor the activity behind this uh, active region here in the southern uh, part of our star. That's 200 days now without sunspots in 2019. So we've got a little less than 90 days in the year. Let's go ahead and take an office poll on how many days are we going to end without sunspots. <clears throat> I'm going to call it right here, guys, October 4th. 2019 I might be underdoing it but I'm gonna call 277 days or 2019 without sunspots that's just my assumption so KP and the C is sitting at 3 and the 24-hour max is also a 3 um, TCI coming in at 4.79 that's up from 4.67 and if you look at the SDO in motion, well, we have a couple of small minor coronal holes that we should see effects from on the 4th and again on the 6th. So uh, some minor coronal holes that some have already been earth facing that are turning away now. There's other minor ones that are following it. And again, I, I'm not worried about this as if it's barely going to even graze the magnetic field in the first place. And let's take a look really quick before we move into that, uh, what we have on the future here as far as any new sunspots arriving. And at this moment, um, we are not seeing that. There's our spot right there. It's just now an active region. Uh, nothing to, for the foreseeable future anyway on the eastern limb or beyond. So we could be back on another spotless streak again over 20 days. However, just on that last run there, there is something of interest at the negative 180. We will continue to monitor that and see where it goes from there. But so far, we are spotless today and moving forward. All right, let's take a look at our national forecast. It's not much to talk about today. Thankfully, we don't have a lot of weather to really speak of here in the U.S. And we can use the break. Uh, lots of temperature changes on the way, though, for most of us here in the United States. But right now, looking at showers and storms just in parts of New Mexico, the panhandle of Texas... Parts of the South, Louisiana, Arkansas, Mississippi, and Eastern Texas is expecting some rain showers today. Other than that, guys, it's really going to be quiet. I mean, the Northwest expecting showers and storms. Small part of Idaho also uh, being uh, dealing with rain showers today. Nothing severe, nothing extreme, or anything like that. Looking at our watch map, if you live in the Northeast, you are in a freeze watch or a freeze warning tonight. Temperatures are expected to get down to 33 degrees or lower in most parts of the Northeast, especially if you're uh, past upstate New York, further up in the Northeast, uh, Vermont, Maine, those areas, New Hampshire, definitely are looking at freeze warnings for the evening. But other than that, guys, really no watches, no, no thunderstorms, no flooding. Uh, so a chance for flooding, I guess, here in New Mexico, there is a flood flash flood watch in effect right now from the rain they're getting but other than that uh, this is a pretty quiet day as far as weather is concerned if you've been following for the last three years and let's look out in the tropics <clears throat> no that's not lorenzo that's another area that they're watching that could develop into a cyclonic storm say in the next five days there's a 20 percent chance and then we have this thing here Actually, folks, that was a 10% chance of heading towards Mexico. That has now changed just in the last five minutes. Uh, it is now calling this area is just going to be, you know, zero chance, if any, development whatsoever. So we are quiet. Um, 
no future hurricanes, no storms, nothing to worry about, it would seem. Um, If we did have a storm that was forming off of the coast of Africa and made its way to the United States, we're talking late October, and we're possibly looking at, uh, you know, water temperatures not being there either. Now, let's take a look at some of our temps right now. And right now, the, the Gulf, where the area that is most favorable for development is the spot that they're watching right now in the Gulf that has a 10% chance. That's where they're thinking if anything does form, you're looking right at it where this bright red spot of warmer weather it, or warmer uh, water temps are. And if you look at the rest of the oceans here, you, you see the, the Atlantic, the Caribbean. I mean, temperatures are cooling off. So the further we get into October, and I, I understand that we have hurricane season through November, but the, the more we move through October, uh, without development of anything and you know hurricanes are like sunspots when you have cooler water temperatures when the water temperatures are really hot yeah we could expect sudden development in most cases but right now this is if, you, if you're looking for a hurricane to hit the united states in between now and the end of october your chances of that happening are pretty small and uh that, that's just based on the current conditions in the oceans and what we actually have lined up in in the Atlantic and it's nothing. Uh, We went from having four or five different possibilities of storms heading this way, but for the most part, these storms have curved up to the middle of the Atlantic and towards the Azores. Now, nobody's talking about um, Lorenzo. So I wanted to give a quick update. It is not done. This is Lorenzo on Thursday. Today, we will start to see impacts in Ireland and the UK as well. Actually, this is probably overnight we started seeing um, effects from this, not today. My map is a day behind. I apologize, folks. <clears throat> Actually, yeah, that's the latest. Let's go to the Friday 06. Yeah, we're already getting rain, so my mistakes. Uh, I will have a full report tonight on Lorenzo on rain totals and flooding situations. We were anticipating some lots of rain. Lorenzo has smashed into Ireland and UK, and now we are looking at remnants of it moving through the rest of Europe. Now, after Lorenzo is finished by Saturday, you guys get a day here in Ireland, and the UK by Sunday, more moisture, heavy rain too, almost heavier than what they saw from Lorenzo. And then on Monday, as that system exits, we have another low pressure system that's bringing moisture. This is a lot lighter in nature, but it's gonna be a little more persistent. Uh, Tuesday into Wednesday, rain showers all across the UK and Ireland and through Europe, France, Germany, you name it. And then when we get to Thursday, October 10th, still more chances of rain from a low pressure system through Ireland and the UK. Going to Friday into Saturday, another system within one day, actually. Look at this. Thursday night into Friday, that system leaves the UK and Ireland. And then here comes another system Friday night into Saturday. And then Saturday has another system moving in into Sunday. More rain. And then more rain again on Monday, October 14th. And yes, more rain coming in after that for Wednesday. So you get a day break, folks, over there in Ireland and the UK. You get a day off Wednesday. Look at the heavy snow possible for Norway as well, folks. That bright yellow, it's right there on the verge. There's the heavy blues in there as well. So there could be some heavy snowfall in that region. Look at the amount of oranges and reds that are showing up in Norway. So we'll keep an eye on that as well. And then, again, we're still talking about rain through the following week, Thursday, still rain. And then on Friday, another system approaches by Saturday, Sunday. That's a slower moving system. So as you see, in the next 16 days, uh, Ireland and the UK, you guys are going to get about three days of dry days out of the 16 that we're looking at. GFS is calling for... Tons of moisture uh, starting today with Lorenzo. And my apologies on the map, folks. Um, But yeah, today opens up a a slew of systems to move through the UK and Europe. 
one, two, three. So that sticks around for a couple of days. There's four, there's five, six, seven, eight, and then the ninth one on its way. And it looks like it's gonna be bringing plenty of moisture with it as well. All right, that's gonna do it for this morning, guys. We'll be back tonight at 9 p.m. live with a full report. I'll give a full stat report on Hurricane Lorenzo, or now just a Tropical Depression Lorenzo, and give you guys some totals and any damage reports, if any at all. Also, we will go over the United States' uh, extended forecast as well, and any other Grand Solar Minimum news updates that we can provide. All right, guys, that's going to do it for us. Until tonight, we will talk soon. Everybody have a great day. Do you like this show? Give us a thumbs up. Want to support us more? Share to your favorite social media platform. Buy a t-shirt or become a Patreon. All links are in the description below.